Welcome to the GMS Radio TV Network Morning Show. I'm Allison Vasquez. And I'm Kirsten Skinner. Hope everyone is safe and healthy. Let's get started. Congratulations to the following GMS students who received awards at the PGCPS History Day competition and who will be moving on to compete at the Maryland History Day competition. Give them a big congrats when you see them in the hallways. Joshua Herrera Guzman, first place individual exhibit. Nusaiba Zahin, first place group exhibit. Zhao King Kai, first place group exhibit. Megan Anujipati, first place group website. And Aishika Saha, first place group website. The Virtual Film Festival Student, Sh student Showcase is Saturday, April 2nd, 2022, 8.30 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. This special event will celebrate our wonderful students by virtually screening all of the film festival entries and everyone will have the opportunity to vote for their favorite entries. This launches our People's Choice vote, Voting Window, which begins April 2nd and ends on April 30th. The voting slide goes live on April 2nd. Two men described as leaders of a plot to kidnap Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer were thrilled as they watched videos of powerful explosives a few hours before driving north to scout her vacation home, an FBI agent testified Monday. In summer 2020, Tim Bates was working undercover as Red when he fooled the group into believing that he knew someone in the mining industry who would get high-grade explosives. A bomb is a key part of the government's case against Adam Fox, Barry Croft Jr., Daniel Harris, and Brandon Caserta, who are charged with conspiring to kidnap Whitmer because of her tough of COVID-19 policies and their broad disgust with the government. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis signed a bill into law on Monday that forbids instruction on sexual orientation and gender identity in kindergarten through third grade, a policy that has drawn intense national scrutiny from critics who argue it marginalizes LGBTQ people. The legislation has pushed Florida and DeSantis, an ascending Republican and potential 2024 presidential candidate, to the forefront of the country's culture wars, LGBTQ advocates, students, dem Democrats, the entertainment industry, and the White House have dubbed the measure the Don't Say Gay Law. Once again, we welcome you to the GMS Radio TV Network Report. I'm Chris Skinder, and we'll be right back right after this public service announcement. There is the therapeutic aspect of music, just expressing how you feel. Kids use music as a way to provide language for their emotions. Talking about my feelings with my mother, I'm gonna just be quiet. In the back of my head, I'm like, man, this ain't it. I'm gonna to talk to Howie about his feelings, make it into a song. Welcome back to the GMS Radio TV Network Report. I'm Allison Vasquez. In, in sports, there will be plenty of familiar faces at the women's final four with Stanford, South Carolina, Louisville, and UConn heading to Minneapolis. Stanford and UConn have, four, have storied history in the Final Four, having played five times in the national semifinals or championship game most recently in 2014. UConn is 4-1, including a win of the Final Four in Minneapolis in 1995. To ensure more opportunities for our diverse candidates, the NFL has added requirements on hiring of offensive assistant coaches and women in general. Beginning this season, all 32 clubs must employ a female or a member of an ethnic or racial minority to serve as an offensive assistant coach. The person will receive a one-year contract and work closely with the head coach and offensive staff to gain experience. In recent years, head coaches have predominantly had offensive backgrounds. The pipeline for minorities on that side of the ball is lacking, as Steelers owner Art Rooney II reiterated Monday. You're looking at the GMS Radio TV Network report, and we will be right back with our closing remarks after this public service announcement. What do an aerospace engineer, cancer immunologist, and bat scientist all have in common? We all have cool jobs in STEM fields. Whether it's building robots or learning to code, girls everywhere are finding their passion for science, technology, engineering, and math through positive role models and mentors. So dare to dive in, get connected, and explore. You never know what your future may hold. Learn more about these and even more cool jobs at SheCanSTEM.com. Welcome back to the GMS Radio TV Network Report. I'm Allison Vasquez. And I'm Chris Skinner. Before we go, we want you to know, this show is food for thought and education to absorb. 
when things go wrong, don't go with them. A positive mindset brings positive things. Now that's for real. Well, for all of us here at Greenbelt Middle School, be safe and have a great day.